can we defeat normal dread balloon in only one attempt while also using fire related towers with our fire overlord hero gwen and only the two circles on carts and darts why yes yes we can what's up guys my name is raxor welcome back to another btd6 video a bit of a fun challenge today as i finish recovering from my cold to help me overcome my cold we're only going to use fire only towers to beat dread balloon and hopefully my virus so okay my original idea that i wanted to do which sounded fun was dread balloon using only dead balloons the wordplay is just magnificent but that only uses prince of darkness and i realized well you know you need other types of towers other than magic so yeah instead we're going to continue with my hero and squad playlist where we're going to light things up on dread balloon and stay tuned because you're going to want to see inferno ring at home for hero we obviously go gwen because she gives buffs to all these fire related towers okay so the towers we're going to use are the following so we're going to use wizard uh wizard lord phoenix and i'll make archmage and prince of darkness later when i need them I mean, technically, they also do fire damage because you can cross path them with the middle path, but I'm going to focus a little heavier on Wizard Lord Phoenix for now. Bottom path mortar for blue incineration, and top path tack for inferno ring. Any tier 4s that I get are extra, it's just gravy. I will also allow for villages and farms just to help make this overall challenge a bit easier. Otherwise, let's jump right into it. So, the first round of trouble that I honestly forgot about was round 25. Purple balloons, uh, oops, yeah, I completely forgot about that. That's my mistake, so I get attack shooter halfway and I make it a 302 for now, just to pop purples. I also get a wall of fire, and wall of fire is really good, so it should hold off for quite a while. Eventually, I'll also get a mortar, and here's hoping we have enough damage overall. Again, not focusing super hard on farming, just enough to scrape by, just to afford things towards the end, no, no big deal. So the first tier is surprisingly decent, Dragon Breath is definitely doing its thing as well as Signal Flare for now uh, while it's on the primary tier. And another thing you may have noticed is uh, Dread Balloon is extremely slow, so it's always super easy to beat. Okay, now that Dread Balloon is out of range of my towers and primary layer is broken, I also get attack. I also don't upgrade it just yet at this moment because there's a lot of purples sneaking by. Uh, once they finally pass, uh, I will turn it into a Ring of Fire. A little later on, I sell one of my marketplaces and I get a few more attacks just to finish it off, as well as Summon Phoenix to help. Eh, easy peasy. So nothing crazy. We farm back up to tier 2. The first 10 rounds, if you notice, are going quite slow, so I decide after a certain point just to get an Inferno Ring. This will help just nuke the boss, especially because we went bottom path. The global uh, balls of fire will do 1k damage instead of 750 per shot, so it'll just make super quick work of this while Dread Balloon is becoming a dead balloon. We get back up our farming, a banana central and a wall street, and just stick with a central market spam. Tier 3, things seem pretty fine. I do need a little more damage and I'm pretty sure Dread Balloon will die, it's just a matter of beating primary and having Inferno Ring do damage. So I get up the cheaper of the Wizard Lord Phoenix or Blue Incineration, which is 52k or 40k respectively. Uh, one of the few times I will go pretty ham and micro this, but Balloon Sin still does decent damage, especially like in the early game. So somewhere I also got a, uh, a mid, uh, I forget where, but you'll you see it right there. But eventually we'll also get a Wizard Lord Phoenix. So we got all tier 5s and that's good enough to light things on fire and I uh, should make quick work of tier 3. I also get a homeland and on round 91 it finally dies. Okay, not as quick as I mentioned but good enough to beat it. You just need to beat the boss in 19 rounds. So tier 4 is where things start to get a little tricky. Uh, actually before we proceed, fire is great and all but yeah, I really can't see anything. Let's lower the effects a little for now. I usually find you'll need a Paragon, even a degree 1 to make things super easy, or a bunch of strong tier 5s to kind of trivialize it, but as things move along I realize that the rounds are starting to get pretty close to ending, as I mentioned, if you don't beat this in 19 rounds then you're screwed, so by round 114 I just decide, uh, you know what, I'll just beat it, so 
get my Archmage and my Prince of Darkness, sell my farms, uh, don't need them anymore anyways, and we get a degree, 35 Wizard. And yeah, Wizard, oh my god, just it literally just melts this. Uh, purple Fire for the win. You know what would make Gwen super OP? If she gave buffs to Magus Perfectus. I, I think it's a pretty suitable uh, buff for a hero. Uh, probably never gonna happen, but just a thought. Uh, NK, take notes. Okay, so I have every category covered except magic for the last tier 5 boss, so I'm actually not sure if I can beat magic without another paragon, but let's try. For now, it's time to make Infernal Ring at home. Wait a minute, where's my fire? Oh wait, you know what? I turned off accessibility earlier, so uh, let me just uh, turn this back on real quick. Alright, where were we? Look at it. Look at that! Just wait till Dread Balloon comes, it won't stand a chance. So just as expected, primary military were literally burnt to a crisp, but magic uh, looks like it'll be a bit rough. Even with my Infernal Ring at home, we'd be doing damage pretty slowly. I also know I could have gone for a 402 for more damage, but honestly, a 420 is so much better. Look at this. The range is beautiful, don't lie. I deliberately also do this on normal speed, not even fast forward, so we can just appreciate this moment. I also get a primary expertise just to kind of increase the range of all of them even more and this was the best decision of my life. Anyways, it finally takes a full loop of the track before it finally gets finished through the magic layer. And with that, the wizard can literally clean up the rest. Solid 42 minute score, not bad, alright, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this chill challenge for today. Don't forget to like and sub, uh, let me know if you have any suggestions for Elite Dread Balloon, because this map doesn't really have too many map restrictions. If I kind of use the two middle circles, actually I think it'll be pretty easy to defeat Elite, so if you guys have any other suggestions, let me know. As always, don't forget to like and sub, and I will see you all in the next video.